In this video I'm going to demonstrate how to add your customers to Commander. You'll notice on the Favorites tab here I have a Customers icon which I've added to my Favorites bar. I can also go Maintain Contacts and my customers are here. So this is two ways that I can navigate actually directly to the Customers section. Uh, in Commander there's always a New button up in the top left hand corner or you're going to be able to right mouse click and go New. And that, of course, is going to pop open a window here where you can put in the customer's name, uh, company name, phone number, address, email, and so forth. Uh, the other thing to be aware of here is that the format of the name needs to be first name and then last name. That's the format that it's entered in. So we want to type in the first name, Bob space Jones, if his name was Bob Jones. We have a couple of other ways that we can add the customers to the system also. We're able to go through... Uh, the invoicing section here, so if we were creating a sales invoice, right click, new. These two buttons up here at the top, specifically this one here, this new icon, is a way to access that same spot. So you can actually add your customers at the point of sale right on the fly, enter their information and of course save it. And the same thing applies in the repair order section of the program, so if I was in a repair order, right mouse click new there's my new icon and I can go ahead and enter my customer information into the system keep in mind that if you're using QuickBooks we can reverse sync your QuickBooks customer list into Commander to get you started so your customers should already be in the system and anytime you add a customer to Commander it is also going to push that customer across into QuickBooks at the end of the day when you run your transfer into QuickBooks. A couple of things I'll draw your attention to here as you're adding a new customer is we, we do have a classification field here and this is a place where you can create customer classifications to possibly designate where that customer came from service department, parts department, maybe your online website and then down here in the bottom right there's a tax code. This is where you would select a tax code to designate whether or not that customer was taxable or possibly non-taxable. Again there's the save button or the F2 key will save that customer record and we've added them to the system. If the customer happens to have a different shipping address you'll notice at the end of the bill to line here you can click on this down drop and of course you can add uh, various addresses here, home address, bill to address, ship to address. The bill to is the default of course so you won't have to select that but you can actually add a different shipping address and have a completely different tax code for that customer if you were shipping product to them out of state. 